Hello everyone, welcome to our new Assassin's Creed Odyssey playthrough. Now a couple of things before we begin. First of all, um, this series was initially started out privated, essentially meaning that I don't have a set schedule for this. However, I did want to start the playthrough recordings because I couldn't wait, because I was super excited. So yeah. Second of all, um, I'm actually going to press the start button. Wait, wait, is that okay? Um, I already got the DLCs for this, so I will be playing both DLCs without delay after the main story has ended. And like Assassin's Creed Origins, I will go back and What is that feedback? Oh, I'm hearing some feedback while I'm recording. Hope you guys aren't that sucks. Now, unlike Assassin's Creed Origins where I went in completely blind except for where it started or except for where it was from. Um, I have some idea of what happens, but not really. Last episode of the Faith of Atlantis, out now. Journey into the fabled city of legend, encounter the mighty Poseidon, and discovers the realm's destiny in the final episode of the Faith of Atlantis. I do own that. Oops. Don't know why that came up. Okay, so we are going to do a new game, but let me quickly go... I forgot, there is also a discovery tour, um, which I'm not going to do, but, but I, um, well I'm not going to do, yeah, but I'm going to do that for the Odyssey and Age. So yeah, as you can see, I have the season pass, so I own all of this. So yeah, we will play it all, don't worry. That's all fine. This is a bit mature as well, just that way everyone's aware, so. Be on the lookout for that. Let's do customize controls. Sensitivity. I'm gonna push the sensitivity up a little bit. And the reason why I'm starting this off is just to kind of focus. Okay. I'm going to choose with me switching inverted for normal. But I don't think that will be too much of an issue. Alright, um, let's see what the mice are going to do. Oh. Okay, I don't know what this is about. So I'll look at that later. Um, See, I'm trying to think of what else I'm going to say. Oh yeah, I will play Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well. I'm really excited for that. And if I haven't already said it, once I finish playing through this, if there's anything that I haven't finished, same thing with the Origins playthrough, I'll go back and play through it. Now, um, I'm a huge history buff, so if you hear me going off on some history nonsense or whatever, that's why. Please, um... Don't get too mad at me for that. It's probably going to happen pretty often. Oh yeah, and I'm also aware that there are like some romance stuff. I'm probably not going to do any. I'm just going to go straight playthrough. And finally, last but not least, I know that there's a male and female character that you can choose between. Unlike in um, Origins where you played as both. I'm probably going to play as the female character since I played as Bayek in Origins. This loads. Oh yeah, and this is gonna be an hour special since it's the first episode. Very interesting starter. Battle of Thermopylae. We are ready, my king. It's probably gonna be total Hollywood. Tell me the necklace. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. But now. We're gonna get this. Let us meet our fate, shall we? Of the other 7,000 weeks.
Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Rocks are constructed in the military from ages 16 to 60. Kind of similar to modern day um, home guard units for Britain in World War II and the books. For the
see what's gonna happen here. Static is about. I'm sorry, I know it's annoying. Alright, another loading. That's the one thing. This game seems to be a lot of loading. Not a lot of action. Trophy earned. Bronze. This is Sparta. Looks like we got through the initial, um, Initial thingy, initial uh, battle cutscene like with um, with uh, what's his face from uh, Rude Jack's bodyguard. Ed's Spartans, or Spurs. There are a couple of Ed's Spartans there as well. With Rude Jack's bodyguard and then getting stuck in that ancient temple, which is um, found her ancient uh, pyramid. I haven't found it though. However, this is one years later. Or earlier, I'm sorry. We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely kind of surrounded. So I guess we are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing when Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Oh, that's brutal. And yeah, he kind of deserved that. Day <laughs> for all those things. Was a day the Persians will never forget. <laughs> Tomorrow is a day the world will. Remember! Well, technically, Persia is destroyed, so he's got to come. Finally. Isn't she from, um... Or, yeah, it is. It's the person from, uh, the lady from Origins. She's a lot cooler wow. than she was there. this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. Not. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, could just be let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. So I guess she's a, um, assassin now. There we go. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization so if you're up for it. Go, I guess. I'm so confused. So I'm gonna go with the easy difficulty because I'm totally focused on the story and I'm very Let's bad take at this one games. step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Guided mode, exploration mode.
That's you don't need to worry about me. I've got about. this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. Do the, um, At least, switch I don't think mode. so. Just let me know if you need assistance, and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. Okay, You're right, so we haven't got much to lose together. anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Alright, so I'm gonna start with um, the female Cassandra, like I said. I'll play as the male Alexos when I play through this game again, because I definitely plan to. So yeah, let's play as the female Cassandra. Oh, you have to hold on. Okay, that's smart. She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. So the start of years after Peloponnesian War. Uh, good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending static. on it. Abstergo God. isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Summon Phobos. Uh, that's a horse, I guess. Wow, it's a pretty cool transition scene, actually. Here we go, into ancient Greece we go. Although now it just looks, oh, right now it looks, oh, there we go. Colonia Island, 431 BC. Whoa, that's cool. Pretty sure. The carving of Zeus. Down here. Some mature language already. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week. <laughs> Malaka. Broke the nose, I think. Either that or. The Cyclops that. said you like to act tough, so act tough. Get a little closer, and I will. Go by now. The Cyclops always collect things. Very nice. Down. That was easy. But then again, I suppose it's supposed to be easy. Hey. Last week? This shit happens every week. I don't think they broke, broke her nose, actually. And keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. Oh.
What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. Yeah, I think. So we have not this gun and I'll ask Zeus for you. Gotta say, the graphics in this game are pretty cool. And also, um, that panoramic view was awesome. And the last thing that I want to say before I make my choice, which is going to be Ask Zeus for you, is, um, what is it with these kinds of games? Because the same way with Origins. At the end of the dynasty, like, couldn't we have it during the early Greek period? Like, maybe 2000 BCE instead of right now? That would be kind of nice. Anyways, let's choose Ask Zeus for you. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Oh my god. Since when has he had a vineyard? Yesterday, I think. <laughs> That's funny. So, Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. So yeah, there's a statue of Zeus. Well. I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. I probably shouldn't have <laughs> done the statue of Zeus thingy, because it would have been funnier to ask Vineyard and then... I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Um, oh, my head. Quite convenient. Choices. Choices you will you make while have impacts both seen and unseen. Consider your options carefully. Some affect the story and are permanent. Get out of here or you're dead. Let's do get out of here. It's the Fun's nicer over. thing and I want to be merciful. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm going to cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. I probably shouldn't have I'll asked see that the amount as soon thing. as I'm dressed. Because it would have been funnier to... Ooh, bonus content unlock. Quest sequence of Greece has been to added to the game. You may need to progress in the story before it becomes available. Club reward. Okay, so this is all from me purchasing the, um, purchasing the, uh, the DLCs. Lonnie's sword, Ezio, Ezio's Roman sash, Northern Traveler's helmet. Scepter of... I didn't get to see that. Wow, I have a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff from the um, DLC. Holy smokes. Yeah, it would have been... Um, anyways, it would have been a bit cooler as that stuff keeps on coming in. To have... Um, ooh, that helm looks awesome. I'm equipping that as soon as possible. But I think that's everything. To have asked when did you get a vineyard and then say thank you. So that way <laughs> you could go straight through with the, I guess I owe Marcus a visit. Alright, so that, um, there's my controls. So quest, another day, another Drachma, or another day dawned on Capilonia. Cassandra's usual business, as a Miss Theos, could wait. Today she would find Marcos and make him pay. Little did she know how difficult that task would be. And then it's tracked, so it begins... Odyssey quest recommended level 1. Story began on the down and out Isle of Cephalonia, where Cassandra was greeted by two parties, one friendly and one not. Information they brought with them, however, was news channel. Alright, so we have map, quests, let's see what the map says. So it begins. Alright, so we're over here in Cephalonia, you can go to Archaea 
42, 46. Okay, so this is very similar to the... Oh, it's Argolis. What do you know? Um, very similar. In fact, incredibly similar to um, Origins. And this gives me huge kind of deja vu of, um, of uh, the travel that... Um, so we'll be... Where are we going after this? Oh, we're heading to Megadis. Um, sorry. Looks like... What am I saying? I'm trying to figure out what I'm... Why is my mind just... Total cockpit. Alright, so we have a lot of question marks over here. Ithaca is over here as well. What do you know? I guess that's all part of Cephalonia. Kef but yeah, it's... The, um, route... I'm getting deja vu to the, um, route taken in Odyssey. By, um, by, um... Odysseus' is root in Odyssey, which is a really interesting read, both Odyssey and Iliad. Alright, so here's my inventory. I'm definitely going to change things up, but I can change up anyways. So the bandit sword. I guess I can't change any of this. Yeah, I have to go get dressed first. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was, the whole reason why I came in here was to go to main menu. Options. Looks like you have to manual save this game as well. Or you can manual save it. Controls. Aiming. Let's see what that does real fast. Nope, that didn't do anything. At least not what I wanted it to do. Alright, sorry about this. I know this happens a lot. Let's see, options. Controls, whoops. Aiming. Actually, that's aiming. Let's see. Let's see if that does the trick. And then if it... Nope, wrong one. Sorry, I know this is annoying. Oh, you can go that way, okay. So let's see. Normal. Inverted, inverted. Alright, let's see. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, now I saw something down here somewhere. Hunter damage 106, health 68. Oh, what's this? Loadout. Loadout allows you to quickly assign and swap your weapons and pieces of gear. Warrior damage 16, and assassin damage 140. Okay, so I'm not much of a warrior right now. Then again, I only have a banded sword. Oh. Hold X to climb. So I guess there are no stairs. Do this hovel. Or hovel. However you want to pronounce it. And of course, my clothes are all on the top floor where I have a straw bed. Let's get this on. Loot, Mythios tunic, Mythios belt, broken bow, quest item. Check up there, sorry. Oh, I have to wear the regular stuff. Plus one warrior damage. Huh. Alright, and then what is this? Browse bag. Broken bow. We'll have a little bit better warrior damage. Can you map? Phoebe but slept I here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. It's gotta be very uncomfortable sleeping there. Open the map. Um, which is what I was doing. Locating objective. Locate the next objective using quest hints. And once you've decided to explore location, tap. Okay, so that's all stuff that I've already done. Alright, so let's see. The sink point. He's at. He's over here somewhere, so let's just put an X. Um, but yeah. This is pretty cool because it's the route Odysseus took in Odyssey. 
though I doubt there'll be any Cyclopses or Calypso or Circe, especially since I'm a female in this game. If it were Alexios, I might speculate a bit, but I'm not. Alright, I suspect he's over here at this question mark. Ooh, some nice gear. Why am I not wearing that? Is this an outhouse? I have no idea what this is. Alright. So, yeah. Once again, quick reminder, this is an hour special, since it's the first episode. Now, he's over here. That's something else to explore later on. I think there's fire. Some more ruins. This looks more like a well, though. Now, this place has a lot of ruins. Like a statue head? Nope, just a rock face. Where is it? Nope, just a rock face. A lot of ruins. Ooh, some loot. Thank you. This one's the back. I just realized this whole time I've been walking. I so apparently don't have that weird sight thingy that you had in. Okay. So I do have, um,. Alright, just trying to figure out what everything is, so sorry about that. Oh, that's underneath. What was that? Oh, it was just cleaning stuff. Some loot over here. Really good early game to get all this stuff. Is there a way to break the line? I don't think I can get to that early game. I think that's something I'll have to worry about later game. Unless... The location discovered two puppies. Okay. Alright, so we've already discovered a new location. And we are kind of going sidetracked, but who really cares. Old circle to dive. Same underwater navigation as... Um, as origins. A couple of little fish. I wonder if this is salt or fresh water. Oh, some coral. Ooh, some loot in this area. So there's the treasure. A ritual maze. Stuff is definitely old. Oh, I, thought I, was, I thought I saw something. Alright, so we got a bit of XP out of that. I just hope I don't desync because I've don't know where the heck I'm going. Where am I going? I'm in a drone because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. To get out of here. I don't know which way I came in. Over here. Yeah. I know, hold that. I screwed up, I forgot which way I went. There we go, so I broke the surface. Oh, I didn't loot this, did I? Alright, so we did a little bit of exploring, got a bit of XP. That was definitely something way older. That's probably at least a thousand years old, that ritual mace and all of that. I wonder if that's fresh or salt water, though, is what I was trying to say earlier. Looks like, uh... Looks like there's a peasant woman here. Lost key and some drachme. Mm. Yeah, we got some loot right off the bat, what do you know? Hold on. Oh, crap. There they are. Oh, wow, they are eating meat. There's one down. Food. Oh my god. There's one. There's oh no, no! Oh, it's an archer. Dude, why are you getting so close? Archer's there for 25 bucks. Oh, that was nice. Oh god, look. That's a view of his long cloth I could have done without. Alright, well, I think it would be good to get the auto loot since you don't have the scan thingy that you had in. 
Yeah, you don't have to scan anything you had in Origin. So getting auto loot would be nice. Well, not nice, but Guess efficient. This is the vineyard. Hmm. Straight ahead. This vineyard. Uh, Marcos's vineyard, 30 XP. I already know what to do with Icaros because. I just played. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Origins, and I got all my training there. So far, I'm liking guided mode because it or not guided mode. Find Enigmata Ostraca. Lithuania Islands. Okay. Ooh, what's that? That golden quest. Actually, it's probably a side quest. Ooh. But yeah, I like this um, uh, exploration mode. It's kind of a freedom to choose. Heavy plunts. Let's use the ritual mace for now since it is a ritual mace. However, for those of you guys who watched my Origins playthrough, you know that I hate maces. I just suck with them. Let's zoom in. Come on. Oh, so yeah, you do get to see. Yep, these are side quests. Good to know. I can end up level for all of these is two or three. Is that Shark the Vagrant? That's an interesting name. Alright, well, let's go meet with the Weasel Marcos. And if possible, loot his house. Like we used to do in Origins. So I guess actually, Origins is 400, year, 400 years, give or take a decade after this. Or before the. Yeah, Gosh, after this. I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Yeah, Cassandra. <laughs> thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time about grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? First of all, um, you're gonna fail. I don't know about that. This guy seems like a kind of dude who... who fails a couple of times but gets it right eventually. But... I don't like wine, but I guess everyone in the classical era did. You don't know how to make wine. Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> is that simple, is it? <laughs> you know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. I don't doubt All that. Right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. He knows that we're going to do it regardless. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Stop giving Doris money. You're too kind to do this. I don't know. I I wouldn't say stop giving him money because money for do this means that Marcos is going to sell that stuff back for a greater profit. And then some of that money comes to me, so I'm going to say you're too kind to him. Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal him. friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. Mm, fair point. Where can Where I find Doris? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Cassandra. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. How should I handle this? Nah, I'm just gonna do it. You know what, I'm so fast. How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was, uh, that was too much. I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. <laughs> Threatening them and maybe more. 
breaking things? Certainly. Steal the money if you have to, but don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it. These things happen. This dude's got a fair point. Why'd you better have my money, money, Marcos? I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. <laughs> of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with That's you. Funny. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But think of it as interest, Marcos. <laughs> Everybody We're praise against him. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Fair point. My question is how we got the money. I mean, I suspect it was the Cyclops. Since that's why those two thugs came after him. Tell uh, me about this one. The or after, after You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a god. Okay, so... The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from the Salonia, bred for its courage. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonia. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. All those have merits. However, I think I'm going to choose the horse on the right. Because the horse on the left in the middle, that's more battle. However, you need someone to stick I've to the rocks since Greece Which is essentially one will it be? this complete hills. Horse on the right. That one on the right. Wait. Uh, 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 fine choice. But this particular breed has a few the quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. I'll have another look. Maybe I should have another look. Choose wisely. The one on the left. Eh, uh, that one? Mm, maybe I should have another look. I don't remember Choose which one's wisely. left and which one's right. Actually, I assume it is the horse on the... I don't remember which way's left and which way's right. Let's go the one left. On the left. Uh, that one? This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because and I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. There we go, I got the right one. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main oh, road. Wow. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Alright, so I think we now have multiple things. Quest completed, so it begins. Is that going to be enough for a level up? Nope. One more with that kind of XP then, that will be new quest debt collector. Can I speak to her? Hold on. So, let's see what I've got. Debt collector. As fates would have it, Marcos had spent Cassandra's blackmail again on a vineyard of all things. Cassandra would have to do some collecting to get back what was owed. Alright, so we're going to have to ask PPV first. Hold on, I want to see if there's any money I can loot from Marcos' extra interest. Ooh, I can I actually break the door? I don't think so. Actually, this looks more like a storehouse. It's not his actual house. And you can't get in, but can I steal from here? Stealing items. They will react and your bounty will be raised. I have a bounty on my head? Here's the thing, I wouldn't mind that because it means more fighting and more XP. There we go. Just gotta make sure not to be seen.
Greek sandals. Ooh, okay, so that was definitely worth it. However, I think for now I better not steal anymore. Got some extra interest. I don't think we can free the other Vamos. horses anyway. Let's go. But Let's go. Yeah, I wanted the um, rugged mountain horse. It's so much more helpful in this kind of environment. And ooh, there's a side quest over here. I don't think I'm gonna Let's do go. it yet. Okay. Until I'm level two, since so as far as I can tell, they're all level two. I think that's the Hungry Gods one, though. This can ooh, I missed it. Wait, like, like yeah. there's the Oracle Lord. Okay, so I'll make sure to check this Let's out go. later. Plenty of places to check out. However, yeah. I somehow think that a lot of this stuff's gonna happen in the next episode. Because we only have about 13 minutes left on this one. There they are. I'll sneak up on them, I like it. And I have a couple of things I do want to do. New fish discovered. Can get a mean beach. Debt collector or something happened. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Hmm. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Huh? Crouch. Section. Enemies will investigate to spot you in a restricted area. Crouch to become less visible and find the will keep me hidden. Triangle for the takedown. Assassinate. Assassinate unsuspecting enemies by pressing triangle. However, if your assassin damage is not skill the enemy, you'll stealth attack and enter conflict. I do want to point out that I really like how they make you crouch or assassinate. Oh. Right the the rest of like get away. It's something I appreciate. It's going to be the whistling next. Who did that? Okay, looks like you are going to have to take out that guy over there. You didn't notice me. You're kidding. Oh, this guy didn't have any loot. That Check out the burning glass. Any loot? What is she doing? Just sitting there, I guess. Lots Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cyclops. The cane. Hold on, I want my loot. Get paid. Loot treasure, mercenary boots. Okay. Free the prisoner, which is easy. Mission completed. Get him. Are you all right? I can't quite see so beach. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since since my parents died. I'm okay. I've got you and. You've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? Fair point. Kind of weird how you can see everyone's veins. Flashback? Because this kind of feels like a flashback moment. Yeah, that was the one cool thing that I like about, um... Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Ah. Approach me. Ah! That's enough. 
off, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> little child. What are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Oh. Bathe He's him clearly in his good bed. children, Nicholas. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. If she's a Spartan, then how the heck can she end up in Catalonia? Very confused. That was a cool flashback, though. But, yeah. I like, um, because if I'm not mistaken, in ancient Greece, women could do things that... Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be alright if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. what they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. Fair point. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Alright, so. Talos got a bounty on us. Bounty hunter tracking you. That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. You are hunted. Bounty hunters like Talos are hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down as long as you have a bounty. Bounties can usually be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs. Open mercenary menu. Level 5 mercenary. I assume that's Talos Stonefist. He's got a nice beard. But yeah, what I was saying is women in ancient Greece, um, though were, weren't as prominent as men, there were some pretty prominent female characters like Athena, COC. Um, Calypso, of course, this is all mythology, but I feel like pointing it out anyways. Just to say that, at least with Greece, it isn't full-on, um, full-on, uh, patriarchal supremacy. Like, certain other places I could mention, such as Rome, where females were distinguished by numbers. Or their first names are numbers. Alright, let's open the mercenaries menu. Mercenaries. In the mercenary menu, review your position and the rewards for each tier, as well as status, strengths, and weaknesses for all known bounty mercenaries and bounty hunters. Since Talos is higher level, you should avoid him until you level up and become strong enough to fight him, which is level 5. So this is tier 9. The journey begins. Each economic benefits, or earn economic benefits from moving to higher tiers by eliminating mercenaries of higher rank. So there's 8 tiers. Which is Abraxas, the immortal horse. This is the big boy. We get tier two. Wow, so there are a lot of mercenaries. Though somehow I thought there'd be more. Where's the guy with the super cool horns? Horn uh, helmet that I saw. There we go, that's a really cool helmet. That ram horn helmet. So let's head back. I think that's a female actually there. Right here. Okay, did they like flip? No, right here, tier six. That's a female right there. Tier eight, and then here's tier nine. Talus Stonefist. Detail mystery benefits. The loot is mercenary bet breastplate. Death from above takes more damage from ranged attacks. Heart condition takes more damage from assassination. So pretty weak. Originating from Skyros. Talos Stonefist had a name to be taken literally. 
as big as a boulder he was known to pound his enemies' heads into the rock faces of many Catalonian mountains. Got the nice hairdo with the big old bushy beard. Alright, and then I don't see any details on that person. Alexandra Eagleberra. Origins around the mighty Eagle Bearer from Cephalonia were many. Some said she was a descendant of Spartan royalty, others that she was a goddess. Don't feel that way right now, honestly. Alright, so I'd like to quick save, but I guess I can't. Whoops! Whoa, what was that? Alright, with Talos. Track quest. Okay, any reasons why I can't crouch? There we go. Tagging enemies, you can use the to tag enemies, making them easier to spot. So there are question marks and stuff. Is that a blacksmith shop? I see a blacksmith shop. So there's some stuff around here to discover, of course. Marcos's vineyard. Ooh, apparently there's something I'll enjoy over here. I don't bet it's going to be somewhere weird. Oh, I guess it was for that chest I already bought. Alright, um... Let's see. So there's the mercenaries menu. Let's go to quests. We have Odyssey and then World. So I guess this is the main storyline and this is a side one. Over the bit of rival, the Cyclops put a price Cyclops put a price on Cassandra's head, and just mercenary Talos Dunfist took the bounty and was out blood. Cassandra knew she had to prepare herself. I like how this is mainly in past tense. Can't call from restricted areas. Huh. I'm probably gonna get rid of the maze pretty soon. Nice little creep over here. But I saw something pop up. The loot button. I oh, know it's just the hidden button. Okay. Still no sight from here. I was after following the roads. I'm not going to follow the road because, in my experience, it's a lot nicer to go off-road. You can go through the and then try to pay his debt. Killing him is always an option. However, I don't want to do that if I can avoid it. Ooh, abandoned house. Neat treasure. Me think me going to take some loot. And I don't know why I was just talking that way. Stop it. Abandoned house has some nice loot. Got 31 drachmae from it. Really worth it. Man, this place is nice. New location discovered. Some 31 XP. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to kill Dodas simply because I don't think it's necessary, and I feel kind of bad for him. I feel bad for everyone here in Cafalonia because you're pretty much in poverty unless you join up with the Cyclops. Oh wait, I was on quests. Why was I? I was trying to go to the map and I accidentally clicked out. So here we go. We have Coast of Colada. I'm going to butcher all these names. I'm sorry. First Valley of Pali. That'll be interesting. Shut the Vagrant. And then over here is Talos. Yep. Yeah. So he's pretty decent ways away. Here's Sami, right here. On the coast of Koludai. Ancient ruins of Hanoi. I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher all of this. Hanoi Peninsula. I don't know what it is with me and Mediterranean and Nordic pronunciations, but I butcher them. Like nobody's business. Actually, I also put your Eastern European pronunciations as well. Sami. So I guess I like butcher everything. Never mind. This is a side quest up there. Ooh, it's a statue of um, Apollo. Message board mercenary work. Ooh, it's a message board. Cassandra has learned no job. Any job is a good job, no matter how small. Ilos, Catalonian armorer, needs. Needed wolfers for the warfare and knew Cassandra could provide them easily. So let's accept it. So it's kind of like, uh, I'm not gonna track it though. Oh wait, no, that's not Apollo, that's Hermes. Um, kind of like those tables in Origins where you could find him stuff. 
So yeah, that's the missionary works quest. Wait, what? How many wolves do I need? Two? Oh, you only need two. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So I got a hiccup. Well, that's always an option. Oh, can I finally use my awesome loot? Alright, I think I'm gonna keep the mace for now. But then I'm gonna switch. Ooh, it's Spata. It's a level 4 though. Then I got a Shepherd's Cane staff. Interesting. Ooh, Greaves. Okay, so I have the mercenary boots. And then the Greek sandals, which I can't wear. Or I can wear those mercenary boots, which are pretty cool. Then Phobos. Well, this is not only a nimble mount who can sprint short distances, but a great companion as well. But yeah, the reason why it's 35 out of 350 is because I have all that legendary- Whoa! More static, sorry. All that legendary stuff that I can't use. Alright, let's go say hi to Buddhist and get my money. And then we'll probably just- I'm not gonna kill him though. Because that just seems rude. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Double's ridiculous. Double? That's robbery. <laughs> That's what I told Marcos. You know him, he's... Extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to 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 a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Yeah. But I still need Malaka. money, I'm sorry. Still, that doesn't change the drachma you owe. Face it, once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. Cassandra, good to see you. Hairstyle. Hey, stop! That's my stuff! Alright, alright. I'll pay you, just stop. Fine with me. Fine. The money is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. Keep my name Next time off your lips. Show. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. I don't want to um, take the money. It's under Drachma. I could get that easy. Got a job to do, Cassandra? Sounds like some of these people like me, some of them don't. I could steal it, but... Here's the thing. I don't feel guilty stealing from Marcos. But I feel guilty stealing from other people, so I'm not going to do Feel it. Free to take a look. So, okay, so engravings are definitely new. Let's sell the staff, the shepherd's cane. Trade goods, lost key. Let's sell that. And let's sell the staff, and then go in to take my leave. Thanks for looting. Ooh, did I just see something? But yeah, I'm not going to steal from people in Kefalonia. If it's a place like Athens or, um, or Delos, there we go, Delos, how do you pronounce it? Then I don't really have a problem, but I'll admit I do have a problem stealing from others. You're from running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could Big I money. have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. His goats are carnivorous? Cassandra, uh, I can tell from the smile on your face, Luris gave you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? Definitely. We can get the money back, uh, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. 
if possible. We'll get it. It's not even. We have no other choice now. We need a plan. That's there what I go. do best. This will Fair take point. more than the usual tricks up your sleeve. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Kefalonia isn't the world. Another factor. Alexios! What the? Ooh, that's a lot of dead people. Someone's dead there. At least somewhat newly dead. A lot of skulls and skeletons. Ooh, nice spear. Perfectly waiting for So she left Sparta. Don't know why, but There's one thing I don't doubt about Marcos, it's that he's a planner. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh. Ha. You hungry? <laughs> How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. You gotta say I like Wait. You might be a cheap <laughs> bugger, but took in Cassandra when he didn't have to. Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos, and look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets, to a Mystheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. <laughs> Let's go with you know me. I think we'll do this next episode. I think this is where I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys all for watching. It's been about an hour and ten minutes to account for all the option delays and stuff. Next episode, we'll go see what the boyer wants. Um, and I assume that's also when we'll get our bow. So, yeah. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.